Hey everyone, welcome back to JW6 Online. I'm super glad that you are here and spending some time with us. And I'm super excited today because we are about to introduce to you guys a new series. And this series is actually a series that we're gonna go through with the whole church. It's a seven week series and it's all about renewing our commitment to Christ and what that means. And this series is called Renewal. Um, and it's gonna be super awesome. And each week we're gonna chat about something different, right? So first we're gonna talk about what a journey is and where we are on our journey. Then we're gonna talk about what it means to thirst and search. And then there's so many other steps that we're gonna chat about um, over the next several weeks. So this will help us determine where we are on our journey and then also where our next steps are in our journey. So today we are gonna talk about what it means to be on a journey and what it means to be traveling on your journey. And I wanted to tell you a story about a journey that I took a couple years ago. Um, and it wasn't like a car ride or a plane ride, but instead it was a journey of learning how to train and run a half marathon. And I actually ran the Eau Claire half marathon in 2017. So I grew up playing sports, being really active, but I just knew going into this that I couldn't expect my body to run 13 miles straight. Um, I had to be able to train for it and build up my endurance for it. So I couldn't just do two miles and then jump to 13. I had to do two. And then once I felt confident with two miles of running, I had to go to four and then to six and eight, 10, all the way up until 13 eventually. And this was all around three to four months of training that I did this. And there were some awesome moments during my moments of training because I got to be able to teach myself um, how to run a lot of miles at a time. I saw my body change, I saw my endurance change, but then there were some not so awesome moments Along with running miles, a lot of miles a week, I got some shin splints, I got some ankle injuries, I got the flu during training, and that was super hard. And it was a roadblock that I had to kind of get over um, in order to complete the race in a few months. So in the Bible, the Apostle Paul wrote to the Church of Corinth, and he's talking to them all about how our life can be like a race sometimes, right? We're all running at some different speed and at different mile markers. Like I'm 24 years old, and you guys are probably 11 or 12. And so I've been to that mile marker of sixth grade. And eventually you're going to get to the mile marker of 24 years old. And that's okay. We're all at different paces. And that's something that is not shameful or anything like that. So make sure you remember that, that it's okay that we're all at different areas on our journey. But the important thing about our journey is figuring out where we are at and then what our next steps are. So our verse of this week that you guys, I'm challenging you to memorize is, 1 Corinthians 9, 24, and it says, Do you know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives a prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. So when we run a race at school or with cross country or track, we are receiving maybe a medal or a trophy when we cross the finish line. But the race of life that we're running, the journey that we're on, we are running to get our prize, which is eternity with Jesus. And the important thing to remember about this is that we cannot run on our own strength, but instead we need the Holy Spirit to guide us through this race. He's like our personal trainer, the one that gets us across the finish line. When I ran the half marathon, my friend Jess was the one who was at each mile marker and would be there encouraging me to get past the literal finish line. But the Holy Spirit is the one that's gonna run alongside you and he's gonna help you cross the actual finish line of life into the finish line with Jesus. So on this race, there's going to be times where you feel like you're running downhill, but then there's going to be times where you feel like you're trying to run uphill and your legs are cramping and you feel like you're going to puke and you don't feel like your legs can move anymore. But the Holy Spirit is right there with you to help you when you feel like your legs can't move. There's also going to be times when you're on this race and you feel like you're running in the dark and you feel like you can't see what's ahead of you. But the Holy Spirit is going to be right there as a light on your head shining down so you can see your feet in front of you and the steps that you're going to take. There's gonna be times where you're gonna get adrenaline rushes and you're gonna be awesome and sprint and you're gonna feel amazing. And the Holy Spirit's gonna be right there with you celebrating. And then there's gonna be times where you're gonna stop and ask, where the heck am I on my journey? I'm so confused. But there's gonna be times where the Holy Spirit is right there with you, bringing you comfort and almost being like a GPS. So now what? Where do we go from here? We have two questions for you guys that we want you to consider because they're super important for all of us as we navigate this series. And the first question is, where am I at on my spiritual journey? And the second one is, what is my next step? So after you're done watching this, head to our students page on the church website and go find our renewal card, print it, and then also fill it out. Fill out those two questions and take some time to meditate over that and figure out where you're at and what are your next steps. 
And then after you're done filling it out, put it in a safe place. You can tape it to your bathroom mirror so every morning when you brush your teeth, you see it. Or you can put it as a bookmark in your Bible or a book you really love. So make sure you come back for next week because we are going to dive into week two of our renewal series and it's going to have some awesome things in store. So let's end this time in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for our JW6 students and thank you for um, just the chance to be able to talk about what renewal means and renewing our commitment to you. Um, God, I would ask that you would help our students realize where they're at on their journey and what their steps may be to um, move forward. And I ask that you would just be with them as they um, kind of figure that out in this next week or so. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So before I sign off, I have one quick announcement that I'm super excited about, and that is another family extravaganza is going to be coming up on February 28th from 1 p.m. till 4 p.m. And it is going to be so fun. In case you missed the first one, this is your chance to come to this one. There's going to be ice skating, sledding, snowshoeing, hot chocolate, apple cider, bonfires, because it's obviously very cold out right now. So make sure if you want to do that, you come and hang out with me and Jordan. We would love to see all of you guys there. So that's all we have for you today. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and have an awesome week. See ya.